How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. Here we have Lama Villa, very simply, succinctly described as The Sims, but with llamas. I guess our first shipment of llamas is arriving. Oh, there we go. We got our one singular llama. It's very weird in a sock pop game to, for a change, see something that's 3D and then not, like, put through a filter that makes it pixelized. Gray! We will say that that is short for Graham. His wool is becoming increasingly ready. He's, uh, I think that means he is very thirsty. And he's having lots of fun. I don't know if thirst... High thirst is bad or low thirst is bad? That's hard to hard to tell. His thirst is going down. Suddenly he's having an excessive amount of fun. He completed his stroll. He started and stopped his stroll. What else could I make him do? I, I, I can set him on a few different strolls if I want. I have $300, so I, I think I should probably buy some things for him. Well, let, let's come up with a bit of a plan. Ah, uh, you can have a bucket of water in there. We'll, we'll think harder on it in a minute. You can have a peeing plant. Better better put that on like the opposite side there. We don't need him drinking where he pees. A fun box. The fun box seems like a nice outside toy. You can go play with that outdoors. And you can have a rest far away from where you pee in case you need to rest up. And a sprinkler that just keeps things nice and clean. Is that to keep you clean? Oh, geez. Okay, there is a, a lot more here than I thought there was. Beds? We can put down beds and things like that? That's silly. Silly as could be. I was not expecting all of this to be present in this game. Uh, we have all sorts of kitchen items like a trash can and a blender in case he wants to mix himself up some nice smoothies. I might, I might like totally redo his fence and everything like that. And then we got a whole big list of miscellaneous things. Oh, it blurs him out when he's taking a pee. I wonder where he poops. We didn't give him a poop plant. Gotta respect that privacy. Is it, it blurs him out when he goes in the sprinkler as well to clean himself. It's not like he gets more nude in that time. I'm starting over though. I don't, I don't particularly like the default layout that it gave us or anything like that. Oh, you can zoom in and out. That's nice. Aw, oh, you want a nice colorful door, for sure, for sure you're gonna want that. You want to make a good first impression on people when they come over for a visit. I don't want him to live in like a farm with a, a fence and things like that, I want to give him like a regular, a regular home. His initial home isn't gonna be very large, but will expand, will improve over time. This is just a starter home, you know? You can't expect too much right from the get-go. Okay, the bathroom is teeny tiny and super goofy. Ah, uh, you can drop the walls. There you go. That looks that looks a lot nicer. I I I'm gonna move I'm gonna move a few things around for ya. Your peeing plant has its own space now. You can do that in private. No one needs to see that. I love seeing him use the door. It's just ridiculous. He's using it. He's using it already. The shower, uh, you're showerless all of a sudden. I think I ran out of, I ran out of money doing all that. Whoops. Ready to shear. How much money am I going to get for that? I'm sitting at 10 bucks currently. We'll see how much we get for, uh, one, one lamb is worth of shearing. Oh, damn. Way, way better than I thought it was going to be. Sick. We can immediately start expanding this then. Wow. The sound it makes while he drinks is gross, but also, I don't know a whole lot about llamas, but that's uh, a hell of a way for the neck to bend. It seems like you gotta have a lot of strength in those muscles to achieve that. He's going to plant and then peeing. Those are separate actions. Oh, a proper shower gives him better energy 
and better cleanliness. Well, immediately, I think I'm giving him like a true shower. I want him to be clean and comfortable and have beautiful, luxurious fur. Wool? Wool to share. <laughs> oh, a proper toilet too. I don't know if you really need that. You can just keep using the pea plant. That's totally fine. Oh, tile floor. I feel like you would benefit greatly from like a really put together bathroom. So I'm, I'm making sure the bathroom experience is as nice as it could be. If that's taken care of, everything else can be like a little bit more uh, room for improvement, you know? Oh yeah, dirt path. I want I want people to have a pathway up to the house. Point them point them in the right direction. Probably should have bought a second llama with that fur, like right off the bat, but that's fine. He's ready to shear again anyways. Oh, he's not having any fun. I forgot to give him a, a fun box back. We're terrible people. Terrible, terrible people. Got a big payout for that one again now, too. I'm gonna give him uh, a desk and like a, a little bit of an office space, I guess. A laptop. I don't want him to just have a box to play with. He can have a straight up laptop. He deserves better. He's like the workhorse. He's the provider here. I'm just the visionary. So I want to make sure Gray is as happy and healthy as possible. I don't know what he's focused on out here right now. But I'll let him do what he wants. As long as he's enjoying himself. I'm going to have just enough money there to, to put a proper floor in the rest of the building. Things are looking, things are looking nice in here. She probably, probably would want like a window or something, but that doesn't actually seem to be an option. You know what? The box costs nothing. Maybe he prefers the box. Maybe he wants a break from always being in front of the screen. Might as well make sure a box is available to him as well. This time, this time I think I better actually buy a second llama. A lot of his like main functions are quite low right now I feel like you should maybe focus a little bit more on yourself there buddy why aren't you why aren't you ever playing with your games there yeah oh okay I, I can I can direct him a little bit so yeah you go make sure you game then drink a little bit could not find path to laptop do I have the desk facing the wrong direction or something go play go have fun for crying out loud. He just kind of gets in and out of the box. That's so ridiculous. Can you use it now that it's just like on the ground? Aw, oh, being up on the table was what was messing things up. Anyways, enough of all that. Time for a new llama. Ah, uh, each additional llama costs more. That makes sense. Put a nice rug in the center. Rita! Rita here to give him some company. Ah, uh, he's just immediately going for the box. Rita knows how to have a good time. Why don't you learn a thing or two from Rita there, Gray? I didn't want anyone to feel like they were getting the short end of the deal here, so you both get your own bedroom. The same sized bedrooms, same exact beds, all that is is equal. So no one, no one should feel like they're getting less. The pea plant stays, but I, I'm splashing out for a nice flat screen TV for you guys. I'm, I'm real happy with the work you've been putting in. And so I, I, I thought I would do something a little nice for ya. I think Rita's way happier and then grows wool like at a far quicker rate. It's totally noticeable. You gotta take better self of your take better care of yourself, Gray. It's 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 you're really missing out. Look at Rita having the time of her life watching her sitcoms. I'm thinking maybe it's time to do away with the pea plant. You guys can have a legit toilet at this at this point. Both of you were gaming at the same time. I don't know what kind of co-op game you made might have found on uh, itch.io together. But you must be sharing the keyboard, so that's fun. I like seeing the two of you playing together like that. Oh, yes, I finally got to see one of them go to bed. The way he just kind of like folds his limbs into place there was really funny. Well, you guys are busy with that. I think it's about time we bring a new friend into the mix. Probably time to expand the house a little bit too if uh, if more uh, heads are going to be living in here. Oh, we do have a new colored one. We got Phil. 
I'm glad to know they're not all just like the same exact color all the time. Let's get a little more variety. I can distinguish them all a little more easily at a glance now. I'm gonna do kind of like a half wall situation and then I don't know. I don't know what my plan is. I feel like I'm on to something though. There's gonna be like an entertainment area over here and this is where your TV is being moved to. I'm actually putting the TV up on a table. You guys can have a, a, a coffee table in there as well. Uh, maybe it's a little too crowded for that. Uh, that's That can be a future add-on. Gray's loving the beds. He seems to not really care which bed he sleeps on though. He just kind of hops from one to the other and then just makes himself at home. No one hangs out outside anymore. I feel like I, I've successfully converted them into a bunch of loner homebodies. Make things a little a little nicer looking outside, shall we? Decorate the uh, the front door a little bit. Oh, we can make a, a hedge up to the front door. Yeah, I love hedges. There's none of that Sims insanity where you can like get them to dive into a pool and then delete the pool from under them or any ridiculous things like that. Everyone, everyone gets their own lamp in their bedrooms. You guys can have a coat rack when you when you first walk in. I I think I, it's about time I get you a better food setup overall. The the water seems a little bit uh, kind of like there's not a lot you can do there. That you just you're just not getting the variety is what I'm trying to say. I, I imagine you guys want a little bit more variety, spice things up a wee bit. You can see that little flex kind of come off of them when it's time for them to be sheared, and I'm busy just like building, 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 and then I, I all of a sudden I, I have all this money and it's time to be sheared, and I I ran out of time and. I just gotta, I gotta keep moving, I gotta keep doing things, gotta keep shaking it up, gotta keep changing, and then I make mistakes. I shifted the living room and all that around a little bit so I can work on building a kitchen space. I'm putting a lot more time into this than I expected. I just want these guys to be happy, you know? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm messing around with things too much here. I gotta make sure I, I'm like... Putting in a, a shower and everything again, and a, a toilet, a toilet especially. I gotta stop wasting all this time here and give them, give them back their necessities. There, I'm building kind of a toilet wall. I'm guessing llamas as a whole aren't that concerned with their privacy. If they pee next to each other, I bet they'll be fine with it. Oh, radio. Radio is one of the things I want to put into, like, the entertainment room area there that I hadn't quite got around to yet. These guys have so much going on for them that they just keep producing fur at a rate that I'm struggling to keep up with. Let's chuck two new llamas into it. Why not? We got the money for it. We got the space. You guys, I don't even care about everyone having individual rooms anymore. That clearly wasn't doing much. These trucks just parked right on top of each other. That blows my mind that we got Billy and Gene at the same time. That's hilarious. Billy Jean is at my tour. <laughs> Which, for me personally, adds a whole other layer to this. Because when I was a kid, I couldn't parse out the words, Billy Jean is not my lover. I heard Billy Jean is at my door. And look, here right now, Billy Jean is at my door. <laughs> Oh, this red is way better of like uh, an entertainment room color than than whatever this existing thing is. I'm, I'm switching it out. I also just realized how crookedly I had installed that floor. It wasn't quite like matched up to the walls in every corner. All kinds of shearing that needs to be done. Call me Ed Sheeran. Oh, thirsty. Everyone's thirsty. I forgot to give them- I got so distracted, I forgot to replace their bucket of water. Uh, that just goes in the middle of the floor now. You can have another one over there, because I'm guessing everyone- Everyone's probably thirsty right now, so everyone just make your way over there and, and, and get, get as much liquids in you as quickly as you can. I took away the buckets because I was working on building this new kitchen and I completely forgot. There's a, there's a sink that you guys can drink from now. That's a, a new addition for everyone. I actually want two sinks in here and I'm going to totally do away with your guys' like silly buckets. Although it seems like they really like the buckets. 
fancy microwave, uh, a coffee machine if anyone's a little bit of a caffeine feed. I can get you guys a blender maybe. Oh, a trash can. I don't want anyone making uh, messes around here, so I gotta make sure you guys got a trash can. Blender. I think that's about it for different kitchen utilities that I can make available for everyone. Place a new rug in that room. You guys have radio, a laptop, a, a nice flat screen TV, a, a fully decked out kitchen. Like, just just as much stuff in the kitchen as you could possibly ever want. You guys got your box to play with if you're, if you're really feeling that at any point, making sure that's... That's an option for everyone. He's just doing a little dance. I don't even know what he's... He's drinking a smoothie. Incredible. I want to see if there's actually, like... Nah, the blender's not, like, animated or anything like that. $5,000 for a llama. They're getting awfully expensive. But everyone's so happy all the time, so well looked after, that they just are... are pouring out their... This, their wool all over the place. It's flying, flying every which direction. Second shower since things are getting a little busy in here. <laughs> Just seeing Phil flop down, Billy flopping down on the bed. Maybe we're gonna need another bedroom if we're gonna keep this going. I've crafted a bit of a master bedroom for myself here. This is where I'll be sleeping when I come over for my visits, but when I'm not around, you guys feel free to use it. Gray, you have first dibs, seeing as you've been here the longest. It's a seniority system. But yeah, when I come over, I, well, I expect that bed to be made and the, the bathroom cleaned and everything. I don't want to see things just totally messed up anytime I decide to, to stop over for a visit. Jamie, we Jamie is our latest addition. In case anyone feels like getting in touch with nature, I'm sticking this out in the backyard. If you feel like just having a quiet space away from everyone else, then you can just go out there and, and have that all to yourself. No need to share the blender or anything like that when you're just drinking out of a bucket. I think I'm sitting on seven llamas at the, mo at the moment. It's weird looking at the place with the walls up. There's so many doors in that one, like, small little range here. They all exist in, like, this one strip. At least everyone's stats are, like, crazy high all the time. Everyone's actually looking after themselves at this point, which brings me great joy. No one's taking advantage of, like, the campground yet. I'm gonna buy this $10,000 llama. All of them from now on are $10,000. You better be worth it. You better be like fluorescent pink or ra a rainbow of colors or something. Dido! What do you got? Nope, another pretty plain looking llama. <laughs> well, I think that's about as far as I'm planning to take this little villa. I've built some of everything. I made a goofy shaped house. I got eight different llamas living with me. Things are going pretty great. Everyone's as happy as a clam. As a clamma, one could say. I'm sure that's a saying in some part of the world. Wherever llamas are from. Now hopefully they make a sequel for Alpaca Villa. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again with more Sock Pop tomorrow.